Hi, I'm Hawken with Top Don, and today we're going to do a video on the Top Don Phoenix Elite. We're going to show you how you can customize some specific functions and features on your vehicle using your Top Don Phoenix Elite. Now, it's also important to note that you can perform many, if not all, of these same functions using any of the Pro Series Top Don scan tools. Another thing you want to keep in mind here is these customization options are available dependent on the year of the vehicle, the make of the vehicle, the model of the vehicle, and the equipment level of the vehicle. So each vehicle is going to have different options available and maybe no options available depending on what the application is. It is also possible that the vehicle manufacturer will lock you out from customizing features uh, in the software that you are working with. So in many cases you will have access to these but it's not going to be possible on every year make model and uh, equipment level of vehicle. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. Another thing you do want to keep in mind is it's very important that you screen record what you're going to change on the tool uh, when you're doing the changes on the vehicle. Why do we want to screen record? In case we change something and we're not happy with the changes we've made, then we can review the screen recording after the fact and see how we got to the path where we made the changes, thus making it easy to undo any changes that we made. So thank you for watching this video. If you do have questions, feel free to message us. Otherwise, we appreciate you taking the time to learn more about the features of your tool. Hi, I'm Hawken with Top Don, and today we're going to do a technical video on how to use your Phoenix Elite to change preferences or settings on your vehicle. Now, there are many, many, many customizations that can be performed with your Top Don Phoenix Elite on a wide variety of different vehicles. Which customizations are available is dependent on what vehicle you have and what your vehicle manufacturer has made available through the software of your vehicle. In order to find out which customizations are available, you will simply want to connect your tool to your vehicle and go into the control unit that is in charge of the functions you would like to try and customize. Now, in our video today we're going to cover two different vehicles. First thing we're going to do is a Volkswagen. This Volkswagen offers customization on a number of features inside many different modules. Now on Volkswagen, usually the modules that are in charge of lighting and door locks are modules that have a fair number of customizations available. In this particular case, the central electronics module is in charge of those features on this vehicle. Usually on Volkswagen and Audi, you will find either central electronics, which is labeled as address word 09, or comfort electronics, which is usually labeled address word 46. Those are the two modules that are typically in charge of lighting, door locks, and other convenience related features, which again is the most common features you can customize on vehicles. So once we've gotten into our vehicle here and we have started what we are doing here, uh, we've got our normal module topology screen here. One thing I always recommend doing is we're going to hit our screen record button here which is this little camera. That's going to bring up the little play icon on the top right here and then we're going to be able to record everything we're doing on the screen. That's important because if you change something and maybe you forgot how you got there you will be able to go back and review your screen recording to help yourself undo a change that maybe you weren't happy with. So we're going to hit screen record just to make sure we can go back and undo any changes we make. Now, we're going to go into the central electronics module, which is address 09, and you'll see it's also labeled central electric. We're going to enter the module. It's going to give us a screen with a bunch of information about the module, which we want to make sure, again, that we're recording that information. And then, we're going to hit OK. And, we're going to go into number 10 here, which is adaptation. Then we're going to go into Read by List. Read by List is going to give us the master list of all of the adaptations that are usually available on this control unit. Now, 
Not every one of these adaptations is going to work on your specific vehicle, but a lot of the time they will. So let's pick one that's really common and easy to verify whether or not it changed. We're going to do central locking, audible unlocking confirmation. So what does that mean? That means when we unlock the doors, the vehicle will provide some sort of an audio cue that the doors have been unlocked. So we're going to go into that channel, hit OK. Now, you'll see zeros and ones when you're dealing with Volkswagen. That's binary language. Binary language is zero for off and one for on. So in this particular case, we have a zero, which means when we unlock the doors, there's no audible confirmation of doors being unlocked. So we're going to try that and prove it to ourselves. We're going to hit the unlock button. The door is unlocked, but there was no audible confirmation. Now we're going to hit the lock button. And the doors are open right now, so it won't work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change this value. So you can see right here it's a zero. Now we're going to change it to a one. So we're just going to hit the plus on the value symbol right here. You're going to see it changes to ones right here, input value. And then we're going to hit save. It's going to save the adaptation and tell us it was successful. And now we can validate it by taking the key out and pressing the unlock button. And you heard the horn honk twice when we unlocked the doors. So you can see when we changed it from a 0 to a 1, now we get an audible confirmation when the doors are unlocked. So now, because this particular customer does not want that customization enabled, we can change this back to what it was. So we'll change the value back to a 0. You see we get confirmation on the tool here. And the confirmation shows us we're going to save it. And now it says the adaptation was successful. We're going to pull the key back out and hit the unlock button one more time. And we notice there's no audible confirmation of unlocking, so we have deactivated the feature. So, this is how activation of features or deactivation of features is achieved on Volkswagen and Audi. Now we're going to do a brief video on a Toyota Tacoma so you can see what changing of features or uh, activation of features or deactivation of features looks like on a Toyota. Alright, for this portion of the video, we are going to show you how to change some settings on a 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Now, when we are changing settings on Toyota, you're going to find that the settings that are available to be changed are going to vary between model and year. Um, some of the vehicles will have a lot more settings than others, uh, but you will be able to edit quite a few settings depending on, again, the year and the model. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ID the vehicle and we're going to connect. So it's going to pull the VIN number, it's going to identify the vehicle, tell us what vehicle we're working on. Now it's really important that we do screen record what we're doing when we're altering settings on the vehicle because this is going to prevent us from making any errors that we can't reverse, right? So we're going to select the 16-pin DLC because we're in North America. Uh, and this vehicle has a bladed key, which means it's not a smart key. And then we're going to select radar cruise because this vehicle does have radar cruise. So now you can see we've got the vehicle built. And we're going to go into the next section here uh, after we have built the vehicle. So just stand by for a second here as we make some revisions. So once we're on the main page with the topology here, we're going to click on this button that says Customize up in the top right in the kind of white banner. So it's a little bit different location than what we saw when we were doing the Volkswagen, but that's where you're going to find customization on Toyota. It's going to be in that Customize section up in that white banner across the top. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that, and it's going to take us into a menu with a bunch of different options. And here is where we have a bunch of different choices. So we don't know which one of these is going to be available until we tap on it. Um, again, each vehicle is going to have different options depending on the level of equipment. Uh, here is where we're going to basically tap on each one we want to explore and find out if it is in fact adjustable or something we can modify. Again, we're going to screen record the whole process. That way we can go back and undo anything we change that we're not happy with after the fact. 
So we're going to choose wireless door locks and see what we have for options in there. Okay, so now we're in the wireless door locks menu. Now when we tapped on that, obviously the tool finds out that there are features that can be modified on this vehicle. So now we have a list of different things in this section that we may be able to change, but again, we're not going to be sure until we tap on them. So we're going to actually go to the unlock to operation. And this is an operation that basically modifies when you press the unlock button on the remote, whether or not it will unlock all of the doors with one press of the button or just the driver's door. The default is when you first press the button once to unlock the doors, it will only unlock the driver's door. Now if we want to change that, so one press of the button will change and unlock all of the doors, we can modify the setting. So we're going to go in here and we're going to see that by default it's turned on. Okay, so we're going to take a video of the locking function that happens normally on most modern vehicles. So when we hit the lock button here once, everything locks. Now when we hit the unlock button, only the driver's door unlocks at first. Turn on. So again, by default, when you press unlock once on this vehicle, it's going to only open the driver's door. We will have to press unlock a second time to get all of the rest of the doors to unlock. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to change this to off. This customer has expressed that they would prefer that this vehicle unlock all of the doors when you hit the unlock button once instead of just one door. Okay, so we're going to change it to off. Now you can see the menu shows it's now off. We're going to save the setting and we're going to back out of the menu. Now we will go validate the feature and make sure that it is indeed turned off. Now we've made a modification with the scan tool uh, customizing the locking function on this vehicle. And this is a 22 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, many of the Toyotas have this functionality available for customization. Now we're going to hit the lock button. All the doors lock. Now we're going to hit the unlock button after our customization and all of the door locks unlock on one press of the unlock button instead of just the driver's door. So we're actually able to customize and change that using the scan tool, uh, the Top Don Phoenix Elite. So now we've shown you all of those features that you can change. Uh, you can see obviously we have a huge master list of potential settings that can be edited. We're not going to go through all of those today. But you saw the video and you can see that it is possible to change quite a few user settings on this vehicle. We just demonstrated one for today's video. Uh, just want to thank you for watching the video here with us, uh, watching how we change the settings on both the Volkswagen as well as this Toyota. If you would like to change settings on your vehicle, connect your Top Don Phoenix Elite or any of the Pro Series tools and go through the menus just like we did here and see what options you have. Remember, what options are customizable is a function of your vehicle manufacturer's software. So they are the ones that determine whether or not a feature can be customized, not the scan tool manufacturer. If you do have questions or you would like to connect with us, uh, feel free to go to our website, topdon.us, if you are in the U.S. market, or topdon.com. And of course, we also have our support hotline on there if you do have issues or questions you would like to get with us and talk to our support team on. So again, I'm Hawken, and I do appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.